Hello everyone and welcome in today's video I'm going to show you step by step how to design this layout. So as a designer you need to have different tools and uh, techniques to design different types of layouts. Now you don't want to be designing layouts that are similar to what everyone else is doing. So what I'm going to do in today's video is show you how to create this blurred image in Photoshop and then I'm also going to show you how to add this information here in the middle and uh, do it in a step by step way so that that you can do these designs on your own websites. But before I get started, I'd like to remind you that this was designed using Divi. So if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link, you get access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. Now Divi is a page builder for those of you that don't know this. It's very easy to use and it's full of features. All right, guys, without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to download an image from pexels.com. This is a royalty-free image website. And over here, I have a Photoshop open. So what I'm going to do now is to go to my image and drag it onto my artboard. So I have my image on my downloads folder and I've just dragged it onto my canvas here. So the next step now is to just resize this and make sure it fits my canvas just like that, okay? Great. So now that I have this in place, the next step now is to hit just enter. And then I'm going to come to my layers here and duplicate this. Right. So now that I have my duplicate on here on the top, the next step now is to introduce a blur to our image. So to do that, I'm going to come all the way to the top here, click on uh, filter, blur. And then the one I need here is Gaussian blur. Okay. So the next step now is to adjust how much blur I want in this image. So I'm just going to drag the slider here nice and slow until I am happy with um, the amount of blur that I have here on this image. So th I think I'm going to go with um, about 20. So I'm just going to type it in here. But with your image, this may be different. You can have a different uh, figure here based on uh, what your image looks like. All right, so now that I have this, I'm going to save. And then I need to export this. So I'm going to save this image. And I'm going to save this as a JPEG. So you can see here, it says JPEG and my quality 80%. And so this is an image which is optimized for the web. So I'm just going to hit save. And I'm going to save this in my folder. In fact, let me just rename this, call this BG. And I'm going to save this in Ecamm. Okay, this is my folder. Hit save. Great. So now that I have this all saved, the next step now is to go to my website and start adding my design. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Next, we're going to give this page a name. So I'm just going to call this page, use Divi Builder. And for this design, I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to select and for now, I'm just going to add two columns and then close out of here. All right. So the next step now is to add the image that we've just saved. So I'm going to come over here to section settings, click on background. And I'm now going to come to this third tab, click on this plus button. And I'm now going to add my image. So I'm just going to drag it here to my library. I'm going to click on upload an image. And now we have our image here in the background. So while here, while we're here in the section settings, the next step now is to come over here to design and spacing. So we are going to give a bit of padding here to our background. So I'm going to go with uh, 9VW to start off with and then see how that looks. All right, so that looks pretty okay. In fact, you know what? Let's just make it 10VW. Next, I'm going to save. And now I'm going to do a bit of work here on my rows. So I'm going to start here by clicking this gear icon. And we are now going to go to the background and add our image. So this time the image we're going to add uh, does not have the blur. So I'm going to click on add background image. So here is my image without the blur. I'm going to upload the image. And now you can see my images here in the background. Fantastic. So the next step now is to give this uh, some rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here to design. And then I'm going to come to border. So let's go with about six. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're now going to save. And then the next step now is to add all our modules. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. So the first module I'm going to add is a call to action. In fact, let's add a video to the left here. 
There we go. I'm going to select it. All right. So now that I have my video, I am now going to add an overlay image. It just looks better with an overlay image. I'm going to click here on this plus button. And for my overlay image, I'm just going to look for something which has uh, perhaps some food in the background. So let's try this one here. Now, I don't think that works because it has a lot of white. So let's change the image. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. Upload image. Okay, great. The next step now is to come over here to design. And I'm just going to resize this uh, play icon. So I'm going to come to play icon. And then custom size. And then just drag this down to about, let's say, 46. All right, so that's looking great. I'm now going to save this. Over here on the right, we're going to have a call to action. So I'm going to search for my call to action. And here it is. So first things first, I need to remove the background. And then next over here on the link, we need to add our link URL. I'm just going to add a blank link for this. But in your case, you need to add a proper URL in here. So now that we have this information, we can see now that uh, this needs a bit of breathing space around it. So let's go into our row settings. So to go into our row settings, if you, uh, if you don't have access to this uh, because of how things are laid out, just click on these three little dots here on the bottom. And then you want to click on uh, expand settings. And then next you want to click on the layers. And then you can go into your section and then here I can just click on my row settings. Okay, so now that I'm here, I'm going to now go into my design spacing and I'm going to give this a bit of padding all around it. So let's start with, say, 3VW. So that's going to be left, right, top and bottom. Okay, so that's looking great. I think I may also need to increase here on the top to about uh, 5 in fact, you know what? Let's make it all 5VW. Okay, let's save this. So the next step now is to make our image here uh, look much better because right now, as we can see, it's fighting with our text over here in the background. So to do that, we're going to go back into our row settings and then we're going to go to background. So over here, let's add white. Okay, we're going to add white as our background. And then back over here now, we are now going to choose a blending mode. So we're going to come over here. So let's go with uh, soft light to start with. So you can see everything has gone white, but that's not what we want here. So what I'm going to do now is to go back to our background color. And then we're just going to drag this down and show a bit of transparency. So now we can see a bit of our image there in the background. Okay, so that looks much better. So all we have to do now is to make our text dark so it really stands out on the on the bottom here another way we could also do this is by adding a gradient so to do that let's first of all delete this color here and over here on the gradient we can click on this plus button so we can start here with white on the bottom and on the top here let's add transparency like that Okay, so we're going to go with a bit of transparency. I think that should work. And now we can adjust the start position. So I think we can start at about 80. And we can also play with the end position. So here is a matter of tweaking until you get the uh, desired result. So I think I'm happy with that. All right, so I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to change the uh, text. So I'm going to close out of here and let's go into our settings, text module. So over here on the design, we're going to start here with the title. So for the title text, uh, let's go with something really dark like that. Go into the paragraph text, do the same thing. So as you can see now, it's much easier to read. And then finally, we have our button here. So we're going to activate use custom styles for button and add our button so we're going to go with white as the text and then for the background we're going to go with this and we can also add this on the border so my colors here you can see they're working really well with what i have here on my uh, image so on my video so this is something that you may need to consider as you are designing this okay so now we can save this and uh, perhaps we may want to have a title here on the top so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to add a new 
row, add a text module here. And this is going to be our title. But we're not just, we're not just gonna end here. Uh, we need to go in and customize it. So we're gonna set this to heading one. So it's gonna be nice and big. So we're gonna set this to ultra bold. So I'm gonna readjust my size here for my text. So we're gonna go with 40, in fact, let's go with 50. But as you can see, we have a background which is quite light. So what we're going to do is to add some text shadows. So by applying a text shadow, it just makes uh, the text much easier to read on this dark background. Okay, so now that we have this here, I'm gonna save. And all we have to do is to drag this to the top like that. So now our title is all the way at the top. So to finalize this, all I need to do now is to add a bit more padding here to the top on our section. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact, you know, we have plenty of padding here. Uh, I hadn't scroll, uh, scrolled up there. All right. So as you can see, my design looks much, much better now. And um, we have applied a background image here, which is uh, pretty blurry. And then over here on the front, we are able to go in and add our elements, which is the video and also this call to action. So what you can also do here is if you're not a fan of uh, the layout here, you can just go into your section settings change this to a single column so now you have a video and the text on the bottom so this could be maybe a style that you may want to go with and uh, just to make a few adjustments to this uh, you would go in here now and add a bit of padding on the sides or you can go into each and every one of these elements and just uh, adjust the sizing so let's start here with a video so I'm gonna go into my video module design sizing so I am going to reduce my width here to about, say, 70%. And I'm going to center it and then save. We are also going to do the same here on the bottom. So I'm going to click here, go into my settings, design, and I'm going to go into sizing, change my width to about 70. So just make sure your width is the same. I'm going to center it. And then all I have to do now is to go into my row settings. If I need to add a bit more padding here to the top, I can just uh, increase that. But I think uh, 7VW here works well. And then over here on my text uh, element, I'm just going to go in and add about 40 pixels just to space it out a little bit. So as you can see, this design now looks much, much better. So what I'm going to do next is to just save this. And this also looks pretty good uh, in uh, mobile view. And there we go. So what you may want to do here in mobile view is to go in and uh, adjust the sizes. So for our text here, we can go in and making sure you are on uh, the mobile. Reduce the size like that. And then do the same for the text. And then once you're done, you can just save this design and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just changed this color because this white was not looking great uh, on this design. So uh, by adding a darker color here, I think this looks like a much better design. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the final design. So this is a layout that is um, slightly different to your standard layouts that a lot of people are always designing so this could be a different way that you could start designing your layouts all right guys that's all i have for you in today's video thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification by doing so you'll be notified when i release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care